In this video, we're going to focus on how we can get the coordinates or with our coordinates, how we can get the label or the scale value here at the bottom. As you can see, as I hover around here, or we move with my mouse, you can see here it gets Sunday, Saturday, whatever the variable or the label would be based on where my mouse is hovering. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how to get the scale values on mouse move in chart.js. So the first thing what I want to do here is of course to get default code which you can find in chart.js3.com getting started. And this link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on the site, just scroll down here and just copy this chunk of code here. There you are. And if you want to understand what the code does, make sure you watch this video here. It explains it all. So I'm going to paste it all in there and then I will cut out this title and put it in here. And I like that. All right, save, refresh. So now we have that. What I will make is just the uh, larger, make the width of this 80%. There we are. So now we have our nice bar chart. And I think what would be more appropriate for this is a line chart. So I'm going to convert it into a line chart. Save, refresh. So basically what we need to do is as we hover around here, we would like to get the corners at the bottom here specifically for a linear uh, linear chart in this case this is a type linear so what i'm going to do here just here down we're going to create some additional space and i'm going to put in new function so this function i'm going to say a function and we just can call it a mouse move handler so basically we're going to work with mouse move and not with hoover because we're not we're not hovering on top, or basically we are hovering on top, but we want to get the coordinates. And to get the coordinates, we need to have mouse move, because hover would always be yes, as long as we are on this canvas tag. That makes sense. It will not give a distinction on where exactly you are on the canvas tag. So with the mouse move, we have that functionality. So in here, right now, I'm just going to put in here, and I'll just say here, console log, yes. So we have this function, but this function must be triggered. How do we trigger that? We're going to say my chart, which is basically the chart object here. And then what we want to do is we want to be, uh, we want to trigger it on the canvas. So not on the chart object only, but specifically the canvas tag. And then we're going to say dot add event listener. And then we can say here mouse move. Remember, we are not hovering; we are moving our mouse within that element. Then we're going to register the event like that and make a callback functionality. And this will be just quite straightforward. I'm going to copy this, put that in there, move that space there. And then what I want to do here is two uh, arguments. We have the my chart and we have the event basically, which is the mouse move event. So if I save this right now, refresh, open up developer tab, you can see here it says yes all the time for every single movement we do and that is very important all right so now we have this what i want to do now is to get here the parameters which is basically a reference to this i'll say a chart and then here we can say mouse move so if i save that and then i'm going to grab the mouse move put that in there save refresh now every mouse move event is being registered and you can see here what's going on and let's click on one and you can see here the offset x and the offset y. So these coordinates are the direct coordinates in rel which is relative to this specific canvas and not based on the uh, entire window, the inner window. So this is very important. So we need that one. And normally, if you see my other older videos, I use like get bounding uh, rectangle, but we don't use that here because basically just having the mouse move will be easier so we have here down a mouse move and we put in here dot uh offset x and that's basically what i want so i'll make this a constant and let's call this our x coordinates equals that and then we have another one for the y coordinates and we put here the y offset so once we do this what will happen is we will have then the coordinates here nicely. Save that, refresh. There we are. You can see here, the, or at least the pixel coordinates relative 
to the mouse cursor and same with the x as well so what we want to do is we want to grab here the variable whatever the variable would be here at the bottom so in that case what we can do here and then what i need to do here is an object destructuring so make sure if you don't understand what object destructuring is in the description there's a link for that that will explain it all and basically i'm going to do this equals chart and then i will grab here what can we grab here i guess we can just grab um let's see here we can just do here the scales only and we say x and y this is the reason i'm not using here x and y only because we're going to use it here and if not we will be in conflict so then what i want to do is i want to get the position and this is just a uh a chart js command so we're going to say here uh, let me just remove this part and just put it in there I'm going to say here x dot get value for pixel and then we're going to put in here the x coordinates and then what i want to do here exactly the same but we can also do here for the y coordinate so basically what it does is it will get the pixel and convert it into a variable so if i save that refresh and you can see here now we get this here and what we get here this one here is the value of the y as you can see here as i go up and down if i go down it goes close to zero and this one here is the index number so we want to have the index number here and then for the index number we could basically grab that so let's grab that value one more time so we have this uh, let's do this here um console dot log and then i'm just going to comment this out but i want to put in here the data object comma go to data object how do we get there data data sets labels oh sorry not labels uh the data no sorry uh, i'm thinking about labels but it's not it's data dot labels that's basically one and here whatever the index is we can reference to this so in here data dot labels index well what is the index this is the index this command here put in there save refresh now if i move around here you can see here we get any value or date we want and this is basically the same you can do with many other items and for the time it might be slightly different although it's quite close to this as well but i'll make a separate video for it so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to learn some other items as well that's very useful i'm going to recommend you this one which is basically the opposite which is called get pixel for value but with that you can do also a lot more both of them give you an option to do a lot of things in charge so i highly recommend you to check out this specific video as well